couple of twin hearses right here, chilling in the garage. Or I guess it's more of a carport. They come over here. This is unique because the embalming room is through here. But the actual funeral home is right there. And the hearses, <laughs> no. But anyways, yeah, so the funeral home and embalming room are not connected. So uh, we almost missed it. This door was closed and I saw that. And you already know what that means. Yum yum. Formaldehyde. Sun's kind of shining in a little bit. So I'm gonna shut the door. All right, so this is when you first walk into the embalming room here. See a sink with some ivy growing in the sink right from outside through the open door. Sharps container there. Wash station. Look at these though. These are old school curlers. Probably to curl women's hair and men's hair <laughs> for their funerals. Up here, oh look at that roach. Hey buddy, good thing he's dead. I gotta hold this door, it's kind of a pain. Look at this embalming room though. Super sick, super grimy too. Looks like this thing's about to collapse up here, this wood overhead storage thing this is the embalming table and a gurney too you see they got one of each gurney gloves embalming fluid get the light on here so you can see a little better Look at all that embalming fluid though. This funeral home was a staple in the small community where it was located since it first opened its doors in 1950. The owner and mortician was a very well respected man and ran the funeral home successfully, but tragedy would soon strike. In 2004, the owner suddenly and unexpectedly passed away from a heart attack. And after he passed away, the funeral home business was in the process of being handed down to the eldest son, but unbelievably and shockingly, he was killed in a car accident the very next year. It was at this time that the family decided to close the funeral home once and for all. As of 2023, the funeral home continues to sit abandoned. With the funeral home still sitting abandoned and waiting a new chapter of life, the neighborhood surrounding it is vastly changing. The area now seems to be a popular upcoming and bustling place. So it'll be interesting to see what comes of this old funeral home. Got like raccoon prints or cat prints going off at the front of it. Pretty sick. Cadillac. Now, if I turn around here, go right into the uh, funeral home. This door was shut. So this is how we got in. And then you first walk in, turn the light on, you see an office. This was obviously the funeral director's office. And most likely, um, owner. Look how grimy this office is, too. This whole place is grimy. You can see it's old. Built in the 1800s. Got a couple of, uh, twin chairs there. For doing funeral business with the boss. There's the boss's chair. Look at this grimy adding machine. 
Now this is sick, actually. Paymaster. Wow, that's old. I like that. This old stuff. Look at these old portraits. That might be the man right there. And the first lady. Oh wait, that's church. Could be a funeral home too, I guess. Is that Jesse Jackson? Look at that. Wow. Mortuary seminar. Wow, that's cool. 1966. I'm trying to not get the name in it. So this is the view from where the boss would sit. Chandelier is about to collapse on the desk here. Old tapes, cassette tapes, so old book, phone books and stuff. this casket locking key Batesville that's cool prayer stuff some knickknacks books and stuff more books look at this death claim for insurance That's interesting. These are actually really cool old, uh, like printer drawers. Look at that. Death claim statement of beneficiary. More paperwork. Funeral stickers. Cool. Right, that's pretty much all there is. And a ribbon. Junk. Funeral flags. For your car, you know, for a funeral procession. Some random casket and internet paper work or photos and write ups and stuff. Plum Rose, 25 footer. From the office. We're gonna go down into the casket display room. Look at this thing. Grimy too. Caskets galore, I love it. Look at this too, we got some wigs. Some hair extensions, maybe. Some dresses and outfits. Gotta hope that's not the price. Mm, pretty in pink. Here's a white one. Nice lace. The intermittent process. Look at this, like felt 
velvet casket. So weird, I've never actually seen one like this. It feels so, it's like all soft. It's all stained too. Interesting. So if I turn the other way, we've got the other caskets down there and the burial vault display. Obviously seen better days. You got burial vault just everywhere. Look at burial vault over here. Or at least the uh, sample ones for display. Look at how expensive they are, jeez. It's crazy. What? Eleven thou? Jeez. The Wilbur Bronze. That's obviously the one. Here's more of my style. Cheap. Monticello. Or the Continental. Super cool. This display case is about to fall over if I touch it. So, not doing it. I'll pan from a distance. Then you got the white casket over there, white and silver. You got another kind of felt one, velvet one over here. Then you got the wooden one here. And you got some samples here. Praying hands on this one. This one's got some rose on it. Look at florals right there. Some thought they were roses, but I'm not sure what they are. Here's the black and silver one. This one also actually has some etchings in it. Like some stars or something. Oh, it's over here. The silver ebony. Ah, should have known. The praying hands. Batesville. I see a lot of Batesville in a lot of funeral homes. Must be a very popular casket company. Ah, no wonder that the ebony, silver ebony one is so expensive. 20 gauge steel. Silver ebony is not messing around. Can't open these caskets because... And this one's got so much stuff on it. This one's empty. That one won't open. This one is open. About the only one. This is Helen's. Helen's casket is getting beat up. It's like a dent in it right there. But it's a nice one. Not bad at all, actually. Just a little beat up and get a little discount on it. Got some cracking going on there. Got some chipping going on there. This chick died back in 2001. Jeez, long time ago. Over 20 years ago. Yeah, 
Here's a pan of the whole room. Look at this damage. Water damage everywhere. Jeez. Let me show you this one's All right, so now we're gonna head from the casket display room over to the other side where the chapel is and um, the uh, pews and the other casket and the podium and stuff. Let's go check it out. Lame room here. And then this would have led to the front or main entry here. See? And they just bought fresh tarps and signs, no trespassing signs. So it looks like we might've gotten here right in time. Here's the chapel right here. Podium there. There's the organ. The good book up there. Look at this. <laughs> ceiling is just about to come in on itself you can see daylight through here jeez all that decay down there the podium jeez This casket's crazy though, look at this. It's got some decay on it, but it's really cool and creepy. It's, it's literally for an open casket. You don't have to even open the casket. You can just look through the window. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's creepy to me. You can see this is looking back toward the chapel and the pews from where the casket would be or the decedent would be. That's actually a nice little bench there. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's so you can kneel on it. Okay. And here's the view from the back of the chapel. These pews are still here, that's cool as hell. Look at the decay. This would have led to the main entry here. Can't even open the doors anymore, it's all swollen. Look at that, you can see outside again. Floor is about to cave in right here. I don't even want to walk by it. Look at all that mold, too. Yum. There's people outside, so you gotta kind of be quiet. 
See the ceiling there again. See some chairs lined up on each side as well. And it's got Jesus as Lord over it, over the, I guess, pulpit area. So now we're gonna go over to the embalming room, which is right over there on the other side. Look at a body lift. Gotta be quiet because the neighbors. Look at that body lift though. Old caddy. One hearse, two hearse. Caddy hearse. All right, now we're gonna go to the embalming room. Yeah, right, got the light on now for you. Look at all that termite damage. All termite damage, look at that, rotted. Old radio. Tissue building solvent, baby powder, betadine solution, skin spray, conjection chemical, and of course, embalming fluid. Artery fluid. Some makeup back here. Some more artery fluid and embalming fluid. Embalming powder. Blush. Eyeliner, lipstick, mascara looks like. Over here we got some, not sure what that is. Some type of compound. Oral muscular protectant or something. Feature building, firming, embalming spray, tissue fill, fluid color, ugh. And then I think that is more, uh, oh, plasoform based firming chemical. Hmm. Oh, look, some more makeup too. And a hypodermic, part of a hypodermic needle. Syringe. This old lamp. Chilling here for embalming. There's the drain. My favorite part. Nah, just kidding. Kinda. Love the porcelain slab though. The base is fat too. And check in here, did I? Oh, look at all that. That's about it. on itself too. Some old drawers over here. Bobby pins in there. Curling iron. This is a grimy um, gurney too. Love 
these old curling irons here. Old school. Definitely haven't been moved in a while. This place closed down in like 2017, I think. Probably hasn't moved since. Broken window. Too bad it's locked up. I tried to like protect the seat. Here's the other hearse. So here's the first one. And then here's the second one. You can see inside, there's nothing in it. It's all empty and cleaned out. But, it's still cool. Look at that. It's got like a lantern on the side of it. And then if we turn back and look, there's the other one. This one's like a little newer model, maybe. Look at those cobwebs on the hood, hood ornament there. Sick. That's cool. Sayers and Scoville. I like it. On flats, as it should be. Can't really see inside of it. Fleetwood. Look at this thing. It's been sitting for a minute, that's for sure. And that brings us to the end of another abandoned funeral home video. For more photos of this funeral home and our many other locations, check out our website at AbandonedCentral.com. And don't forget, subscribe to Abandoned Central on YouTube so that you don't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you guys so much. We truly appreciate all the support.